Kia ora todos. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video. We are setting up the Atlas 4.0 Rook Atlas 4.0 for Mortal Vlogging. And this is what I use for my mic. I have I have tried a few different ones, but this seems to be my preferred choice. It's this gaming set. Uh, her two wheels. This is something that she recommended in one of her videos and I am very happy with the audio quality from this device. As you can see, the construction is pretty decent. It's very great. It's good. Uh, you can set this and it'll hold its shape. You don't have to worry about this being knocked around or moved around or anything like that. It holds the shape. So I like this and the overall length of this audio cable, of course, it's right under two feet. So it's not going to be like your Panda or anything like that, which is typically like, what, five or six feet or something like that. You don't have to, you know, hide all that wire. You can easily hide this in the helmet. So let's go ahead and just get into it, guys. Rambling. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Of course, you have a connector right over here. And you would actually have to slide that out. Let me see if I get the camera to focus. So you have to kind of just pull that out, slide that out. And then you go ahead and remove this one. And this one's actually a little bit right here. This also kind of slides out. As you can see, that's connected over here. Sorry, out of camera, out of the view. This also just slides out. You have a little same connector right there. So you just pull this out. And that's the first cheek pad. I typically do it on the right side because I run, I run this cable. Like I said, I'll run this cable all the way underneath this and then route the audio jack over here when I'm hiding it. So I'll probably put it in there or something like that. Hide it in there. I'll probably figure it out hiding it somewhere in this crease or something. And the reason why I do that is because I could just pull this out and leave this wire tucked in a little bit. All right, yeah, the autofocus is everywhere on this. I'm going to try to pull this out a little bit. So, yes, like I was saying, I typically put it on the right side and then run the cable over to the left side. And when I'm auto vlogging, I'll just pull this out a little, little bit and then I'll connect it to my GoPro right over here somewhere. So let's go ahead. Now that we removed the cheek pad, let's have a better look at what's inside. And like I was saying, uh, you have these little adapters which is this and i'm guessing this goes somewhere right here cover up the noise i don't know where this goes all right no more autofocus issues now we are on manual so let's go ahead and put that right in there right behind and the reason why i'm putting it right in the middle is just to kind of that's the uh the furthest point that you could put the mic that way you're not getting clipping audio uh clipping because it's you know too loud and the mic's not too close to your mouth so i'm gonna go ahead and just put it right there and you want to take your gaffer tape this is way too long let's go ahead and cut this down for a little bit and then just guide it in there right there so i'm hoping we don't get into anything and wow this material what is this this is like a soft soft suede that's not sticking all right so we're gonna try this other piece gaffer tape was not sticking to this material i don't know what this is it doesn't feel like like rubber or something i don't know what kind of material that is but the gaffer tape does not seem to to stick well to it so let's go ahead and try this again all right so we're back it took me a minute to figure out but the gaffer tape does not stick to this material on the inside of the the helmet right in here it does not stick the gaffer tape so i went ahead and i used it right back there as you can see there's the gaffer tape where my fingers at so i was able to go ahead and use gaffer tape right there and i already went ahead and i routed the cable behind and as you can see right here let me get this thing to focus as you can see this is the audio jack I'm able to hide it right behind my left ear. So this would come out and then this would connect to the GoPro. And when I'm not using it, tuck that in there, tuck that in there, and then hide that behind 
on the inside of the helmet so that would just hide all in there so it's difficult to do it while the camera's in front of me i'm really stretched out here so and the inside of the mic obviously because of the construction of the mic that would i'm gonna i'm gonna try to use the the cheek pad see if i can get it to focus i'm gonna get the uh the cheek pad to hold the mic itself in place so here let me see if i can lower this light there we go so i'm gonna try to use the cheek pad to hold the microphone in place so i'm gonna use the little connectors as you can see right in here of the inside of the cheek pad so i'm gonna use these these fellas i'm gonna use these fellas to hold the wire in, in place so that's what what i'm gonna do all right so let's go ahead and get into focus right there and bear with me this is difficult to do as i'm stretched out and uh yeah not not like that way all right so let's go ahead and slide this back through of course right through here let's go ahead and pull this out so we don't leave that inside and pull this through and like i said we're gonna try to use these little connectors to hold everything in place and of course this goes right through this hole man can't see that goes through there this fella has to go through there and then underneath does that go underneath there oh no i don't think it does let's look at it through over here I don't believe so. So that goes in there. That's inside. And like I said, we're going to try to pull this right there and then push that through. All right, so that's in there. That's in there right there. And then there's another one right up here. There's two more that we have to go ahead and locate. There's one. And the last one, there's one more right in here. And that's where the... All right, so that's in there. So that's inside, and then of course, as you can see, the mic. Turn it right in here. You can see the mic's right in there. So there's the mic. That's routed. Here's the, uh, the audio cable. This should still reach the GoPro. Yes, it does. So that'll reach the GoPro. I'm not gonna use my digital recorder. If I was planning on using the digital recorder, I would probably route this in a different way. That, that looks like that is ready to go. And then of course, we're just gonna go ahead and hide this, like I, like I mentioned, right in here, and then tuck it in there, and then just hide it somewhere behind the other ear. And that way, it does not get in the way. You could ride this thing, you could ride with the helmet, not have to worry about that extra cable so this is why i like the shorter the shorter cable i could use this all the time and then when i need to moto vlog or make a little video just go ahead and pull this out and that's ready to go gonna do the gopro so that's the way i usually set up my my moto vlog helmets quick and easy just like the way i like my women so you guys just stay out there, stay safe. Don't believe everything you read. Life's a risk, get out there and ride. Later.